Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video we're going to review the 10 free proxies we've added to our peer 2 profit network and we'll see if these free proxies helped us earn. We're also going to review the paid for options to see if there is any value in testing them out. For those of you that haven't seen the last video regarding proxies, we've added 10 free proxies from WebShare, you'll find the video and the link to WebShare in the description. These 10 free proxies are limited to 1 gigabyte of data. This isn't much to sell, however, I'm selling something that happens to be free for me to use. The graph shows us that we used our allotted free bandwidth in 16 days. Let's log on to the dashboard of Peer2Profit and WebShare and take a look to see what we can learn. As my dashboard displays, I've got about an even split in earnings between bandwidth sharing and my referrals. Before we get too far, I want to point out, if you have options to add proxies from multiple countries, be sure to pick proxies in higher earning areas and avoid areas that aren't listed. As we can see, some of the free proxies are online and working, and some are not. When checking on these over the last month, I noticed my free proxies would go on and offline, often. Peer2Profit says that only 3 of the 10 proxies I've added have sold bandwidth, and that total data usage seems to be only 1 megabyte between the 3 proxies. Let's now log onto the WebShare dashboard and see what WebShare has to say regarding our bandwidth usage. I believe the data usage will be measured differently on WebShare than Peer2Profit, as Peer2Profit is only going to pay us for bandwidth that they classify as usable. It looks as if WebShare is telling us a totally different story as far as the amount of data that is being used. So why is that? Why would Peer2Profit say we have only sold about 1 megabyte of data, but WebShare says we've used 731.1 megabytes? It looks as if WebShare is telling us a totally different story as far as the amount of data that is being used. So why is that? Why would Peer2Profit say we have only sold about 1 megabyte of data, but WebShare says we've used 731.1 megabytes? The answer to that is usable data. You see Peer2Profit only pays for the data that's usable, and if my understanding is right, most of that is downloaded data and not uploaded data, like requests. Basically, when Peer2Profit sends out a search request, some bandwidth is used. Not much data, just enough for the internet to know what kind of request Peer2Profit is requesting, or what Peer2Profit is searching for. If my understanding's correct, the data you and I get paid for is the downloaded data. Basically, after Peer2Profit sends out a request and finds what it is looking for, it will pull the data from the cloud and we in turn get paid for that downloaded bandwidth. WebShare measures both the upload and download bandwidth. As we can see the 10 free proxies downloaded very little data. However, it sent out a ton of requests. Let's take a look at the paid for options and see if there are any we want to experiment with. It looks as if we have a ton of options, and the truth is, this is the first time I've really worked with a proxy. Because I have no idea what I'm doing, we're going to use the simple proxy server option. They have a lot of pre-selected options, but we will pick up 50 proxies. If you look at the bottom, you'll see the price adjusting as we change our selection. If I'm able to get these 50 proxies at around $20 a year, I'll get them just to test and see if they help my overall earnings and of course to help me learn about how proxies work and how to use them. Let's pick out where we want our proxies to be and let's do this based off of the income calculator that comes on the Peer2 Profit dashboard. I'm going to pick proxies in locations that have high earning rates and I'm going to try and spread them out in different parts of the world. Again, I'm literally making all of this up as I go, and it's all trial and error. 
it looks as if the highest paid area is the United States, so I'll split my 50 proxies between the US and the rest of the world. You can set yours up any way you want, if you give it a try. It took some time for me to pick mine, so we'll speed this up for everyone. We'll also be limiting our proxy tests to 250 gigabytes per month, as this is the most cost-effective option. Again, because of cost, we will be picking the least expensive option, and we will select no refreshes. I'm also going to see how much each of these additional features are. If I can get them in my budget of around 20 bucks, it's more resources for us to play around with and help us earn. It looks as if the unlimited IP authorizations option is out of our budget. $89.35 is too rich for my blood. Let's see how much a year it'll be if we turn that option back off. $20.56 is very close to our goal of a $20 a year budget. I'm marking this one down as a win, and I'll be signing up, so we can experiment with these 50 new proxies. Give me a second, and let me pay for these proxies, and I'll be right back. Boom. Just like that, we now have access to 50 new proxies, and they're ready to be added to our peer 2 profit proxy list. Now it's time to export our list and configure our proxy list to be inputted into Peer2 Profit. You can't tell because I've obscured the pertinent proxy information, but the format of our list is wrong and needs to be reconfigured. A short explanation for the appropriate proxy list format when converting the web share proxy list to a format appropriate for Peer2 Profit is as follows. First you need to have HTTP, then a colon followed by two forward slashes, then your username then another colon, followed by your password, after that you will need an its sign, then your proxy server's IP address, one last colon, and last but not least you will need your port number. Remember, this all needs to be one word, with no spaces, and in this order. Basically, all we're really doing is copying and pasting all the existing information in a new order. I find that Notepad++ is the best program for this, and it's easy to use. Once you have the proxy list's information in order, all we need to do is copy it from Notepad++ and paste it into Peer2 Profits proxy import section. After we have our list copied we're going to navigate to the My Network section and then find the Proxies tab. Once we've found the Proxies tab we will click on the Import Proxies icon that's highlighted in blue. This will open a menu and at the top, we'll change the option from File to Input. After you've selected Input, paste the proxy list information into the blank space provided and then click Import Proxy when you're ready. This will add your proxy list to Peer2 Profit. We now have our 50 proxies added to Peer2 Profit, and if everything goes well, we'll be able to take advantage of 250 gigabytes of bandwidth per month. No bandwidth usage yet. Let's try back later. About 12 hours later, and we do have activity, but it seems to come with a lot of errors. Let's see if WebShare can tell us why we have so many errors. It looks as if we have a forbidden connection, and the truth is I have no idea if we can change our proxy setting to accept this connection request. It looks as if WebShare is blocking the Peer2 Profits connection checker, but we'll have to wait for another day to see if we're able to make these needed changes.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Each of these helps the channel grow and helps me bring you more content.